They are living, stand up and pray the holy name, the mighty man in battle, the king of kings, the God that makes a way where there seems to be no way. Praise the Lord! Praise the living Jesus! Our God is good. This is an opportunity. Please be seated. God bless you. This is an opportunity that not everybody is privileged to have it. Praise the Lord. Uh, indeed, today is another beautiful day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. And the Lord has programmed that today he's going to bless us with so many things, including what we're going to learn now. Praise the name of the living God. Today we're going to learn about uh, how making, heart making. Before, before we start, I want to introduce to you some of the tools, because the tools we use are numerous. They are very, very much. But I will mention a few of them, and then the materials that are required for making a heart. Praise the Lord. Now to get a heart, a good heart, that any person will see and uh, like it, you have to start. You have to start with uh, most of the things I'm going to show you here. First of all, you have to get the materials. The, the tools that are involved. One, you get a screwdriver. You get a hammer. Scissors. This is mode. We call it mode. After I will differentiate the types of modes. Um, needle. As many as possible because you may need to use different colors of thread. Needle, thread, thumbtacks. That's uh, the pin. The thumbtack. Uh, brush, paint brush, petroleum jelly, that Vaseline. This we call this a uh, stiffener. Praise the Lord. We need, we need wire. This is wire. I'll explain to you how we we'll come about this. Then on the materials you need to produce a heart, you, there are different types of materials, different types. But we call this cinnamon. This is cinnamon. If you go to a heart shop, you'll get it there. Like I said, there are different materials, different patterns. This is another type that you can still use to produce a heart. This mold was plain like this. Before you block a heart, we call it blocking stage. The mold will be the first thing you have with you. Then you get a nylon to cover it up to avoid stains. This cinema, you can get as much colors as you want. We're not going to go into that now because the coloring is a long process. But you can get as many colors as possible. The same thing goes with any of the materials. So with this, when the mold is covered with a nylon, then uh, you use petroleum jelly to rub on it. That is to avoid stains because there are some of the things you're going to apply that will stick to the mold. But with this and the petroleum jelly, when you are pulling it out, there won't be any stain. Praise the Lord. Yeah, this, this shape of mold is called, uh, this is the crown. We call it the crown. Then this one, is the brim. It goes this way. You can uh, see the shape of a hat already. 
So you block these, which anyone comes first, you block any of them, and then the second one, subsequently. For the materials, to get one hat, you have to buy two years of cinnamon or any of the materials. You buy two years. To block the, uh, the brim or the crown, you cut the, uh, you cut, uh, yes, you buy two yards. One yard is for blocking, the second yard is for designing. So this time around, you're going to use half yard, half yard for any of this, either the crown or the brim. So let's start with this. Uh, we will uh, need a tape for your measurements. Like this one, if you're going to cut half, uh, half a yard for this, you need your tape to get 18 inches and then fold into two. You fold it into two before you block. Already I have a half yard no, this is another material. I have this. You can use it to do a small practical on the blocking stage. Definitely, definitely one needs to sit down to be able to block it. Huh? <laughs> You make sure it's centered. These are the four edges. You hold it like this. Hold the edges like this. Then start with any of the two. For you to make sure it does not move to the other side, you can use your thumb tag to hold some of the parts. So that when you are blocking, it doesn't move to the other side. You hold it this way. Then you come to this side. Then with this, you can now hold the two opposite edges. Make sure you pull it very tight. You pull it so that the heart, the smoothness of the heart will appear. Because if it's not tight, it will look rough. Are we there? Praise the Lord. So you make sure it is tight for you to get, to, to make sure your heart is very smooth. So I want to demonstrate how you just pin, how you block it. We don't call pin, you block the heart. Just part of it. It goes like this. When you pull it this way, you use your thumb tag. Sorry, the hammer. 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 It's here. You pull, hold it very firm. If not, by the side will be very rough. Then, this is when you need your hammer. Continue. Just like that. This part. You know, you just the same process until you pin it round. After pulling, I mean, after nail, uh, nailing this uh, side, you go to the opposite side. Don't continue from here. Just the way you, as you started here, you just continue. No, you after pulling, um, after nailing the opposite, uh, the one, the first one, you go to the uh, one opposite it and block it also. 
with this, will not, uh, the heart will not, the cinema will not move to one side. With, it continues this way, round. I think uh, you can see just the little, the side I've blocked so far, it goes this way. This is the blocking stage. The same process goes to this. You use the material cover. Make sure you, you rub your petroleum jelly on it. I mean the Vaseline. Yes. Pull it and block. It's almost the same process with this. Do we understand? Yes. So at the end of the day. Yeah. With this, you can get this. Then this one. Uh, oh yeah, I want it. After, after blocking, the next thing you do is to apply your stiffener. Where is it? Okay, okay. This is the stiffener. You pour a little quantity. Mix it with little water, just like uh, pap, as if you're going to make pap. Don't allow it to be very thick or too light. So you rub it on the one you have blocked already. Keep on the sun. That is, you dry it. You know, after that, this is what you get. Praise the Lord. Okay, we are passed through the blocking stage, you know. I did this just yesterday. Now we have this. Remember, remember while you're blocking, uh, blocking, you have SSS here. So you use your scissors to trim. When you bring it out, after it has dried, you bring it out from the mold. Trim the edges smoothly to get this. So the next thing is to fix. You might start first. I have, like I mentioned wire. So please, we want to see a demonstration of how you did that. And for how long will the crown stay on the mold before you remove it from the mold? And how, you know, we want to know. I'm interested. How I many of us are interested? Yeah. Praise the Lord. This time, it depends on the weather. If we have a sunny day, one hour, 30 minutes or let's say two hours will be okay for it to dry. But if, if it's a moody day, I mean, uh, maybe during the dry um, rainy season, it might take some time. It might take a whole day. And make sure you don't keep it without dust because uh, some people will keep it in the house or if, if it's on a sunny day, you keep it outside. The, it, the sun will dry it. And after that, this is what comes out of it. So how do we mix the stiffener? See, yeah, you can see the thickness of the stiffener. The stiffener is white in color. Yes, white. So, add a little quantity of water. Like in comparison, like one water to two portion of stiffener or the same uh, quantity of water. Not the same quantity. Just so. you mix it as if you're going to make pap. You know, when we want to make pap, the thickness of the water, that is, uh, you must make sure you get to that level before. Okay. Yeah. So this time around, your brush comes in. You dissolve it very well. I see. You dissolve by stirring. Yes. Stirring the water and the stiffener together. A little more water. If it's too if it's too thick, it will stick on the heart and makes it rough. And if it's watery, it will not stick very well. It will be very light. It will not stiffen the heart very yes. well. So now this is the process of blocking. 
And now I'm supposed to get a bowl, keep it on top of it like this way. But let me just use our table after I'll clean it. So after mixing your stiffener, you apply on it. So you apply from top to bottom. Exactly, ma'am. This goes with any color you choose, any color of heart you choose to make, or you just the same process, but the dyeing process is another stage altogether. So it goes this way. With this now, this side of the heart uh, is okay. This stiffener is okay with this. So you, you do it all around. around. Okay. Then after this, you take it to the sun for it to dry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is how we get this. Then now, it's the same process also you use for this mold. With this mold. Yes, ma'am. To that achieve is, that. Yes, ma'am. At this stage, after it has dried and you trim the excesses, you cut your wire. This is the wire. Use your tape to measure all the all the molds has sizes. The brim in particular. For this, you have the adult size. It's between 23 and 24 inches. But the, for children, it's about 20, between 20 and 22. I mean the mode for children, but for adults, it's between 23 and 24. And I must let you know that we have different shape of crown. Yes, different shapes. Just, even the, uh, the brim also. So now you call, measure your, the uh, size of your brim. Measure the size of your brim carefully. Note where you started. Forty-five inches. The size of this brim is forty-five inches. Then you cut your wire. Uh, your, the measurement of your wire is going to be forty-seven inches. Additional two inches. Are we there? Mm -hmm. Your brim is forty-five. This one we are using is forty-five inches. But the uh, measurement of the wire is going to be forty-seven. So you add addi additional two inches. So that when you are joining it here, you have the one, you know, to bring the two together. Yes. To al overlap yes, exactly. themselves, okay. So this is the excess I'll have here. So after cutting the wire, you use your needle and thread to sew it. So you sew from here, uh, uh, just start anywhere. Sew, uh, uh, sew the wire together with the cinnamon, the already blocked cinnamon. Sew round, just like running stitches. Do it round. Make sure you, the joining here is well tight so that it doesn't pull out. After that, then this one is ribbon. Regular ribbon. Yes of different colors, depending on the color of the heart you're making. So you now use your ribbon to cover the, the wire. Use your thread, needle and thread. Okay. Use your needle and thread. Make sure you use the color of, uh, the, color of the thread of the ribbon you are using. You sew it, just running stitches.
and continuous. Do we understand? And, uh, that, what we just did is to hold the ribbon. After that, we will require a machine to sew it smoothly. After sewing with the machine, you lose up this because it will come out rough if you don't remove it. Okay. So a regular you, sewing machine. Yes, ma'am. So use your machine to sew it round. Make sure it's neatly done so that your heart doesn't come out rough. Cool. What you're saying is that we just use the needle and thread to tag the ribbon to, to, the, to, the, to the rim. Yes, okay. to the brim, yes. To the brim. Yes, ma'am. So this is it. You know, as you hold it, you sew. You hold it, you sew continuously. Okay. Uh -huh. After that, that, you can do that one at home. If you, if you have your machine at home, fine. But for those that have really known, that, you, that have known this very well, you may not bother packing it to this. You use your machine direct. Okay. Well, for a beginner, you have to tack, tack yes. it to it so that it does not move. So oh, now, it can, oh, do, can. is it after you have... Is it molded? What did you block this? Block, block. Do you um, use the stiffener together or you do it one after the other? That is, after this one has dried, before you apply this other one, or you do the two together? We do it together. You cut the same size, the same measurement of this and this. So at right. this point now, after you have tacked, nailed, then immediately you put this other color on top? No, no, ma'am. What I'm trying to say is, this is, okay, this, and this, you cut the same measurement. Okay, and yeah. um, tag together. Yes. Then now you now apply the stiffener, stiffener. On, on top, top of, of the two of them. Okay. And then you Prison. get this. Okay. You can see this is the, the two materials together. This one and the, the other color, they're, they're just the same thing. This is what comes out. Okay, you can continue. If I have further question and clarification, I'll come back. Okay, ma'am. So at this stage, we have to join the crown and the brim together. So how do we go about it? This is when you need your razor blade. You use your tape this time around because you must leave half inch. For you to get this, this shape, this mode, as you block it, this round edges here shows on the heart. It's an indicator as far as where you're going to cut. So from here, you leave half an inch, half inch, to be able to cut, to, to cut off this. Because it's here you're going to fix the, uh, the crown. So let me measure it, even though I don't really need that. So the half inch is, this is the line we're seeing here. The half inch is from here. So here now, use your razor blade and cut. It has to be, it has to be neatly done. As well, use your scissors, whichever one is easier for you. But I prefer using the razor blade because you might mistakenly cut uh, uh, where you're not supposed to cut. You can see the opening. 
after this, you use your scissors. Cut in pieces. Just this way. Be careful so that you don't exceed the level you're supposed to cut. I'll have to fix this. That's why I must finish. Right. I've gone round. After cutting it in piece, in pieces, you raise it up this way. Because now you're going to fix the crown to this. Use your Use your oil gum gently. Apply on the edges of this crown. It has to be neatly done because if you are using another color of heart, this oil can stain and gives a very bad output. The O is plain in color, it's just like watercolor, it's plain. But as you are pressing it, it will be coming out. At this stage, you fix the crown to the brim. It goes this way. The oo is there. Whenever you apply your oo, allow it to dry for a few seconds, for about 10 or 20 seconds. When, uh, when you air it, you not add, because if it's still very watery, I mean, very wet. Twist your hands, your fingers, and everything will be stained. So, fix it this way. Ah, yeah, can you go? I can see the oil is still wet, so let's allow it for some seconds while I go into another. Because after fixing this, the next thing is to get your 
designs. We may not have time to go through all the different designs, but I'll just show you a few of them. This, okay. When you are designing a hat, you have to cut the cinnamon into different shapes. Different shapes. This is a triangular shape. For whichever design you want to get. Now, with this, I'm going to get two designs. The rose and the maybe fish, loop, whatever. Let's just watch. Let's... Uh. With this, I can get a rose shape. Make sure you pull your cinnamon whenever you want to use it to make it a bit softer. For the rose, Design. Just watch the way I'm going to place my fingers on this. If you want to get a rose design, see, I folded it into two. Then start from this edge, from your left side. You go this way. So you're doing, you move your finger and gently pull the cinnamon to, together. This is a rose shape. And take note how I joined it here. The end, you know, when it's getting to finish it. So I just bend it and then close it here so that the rough edges will not appear. At this point, you might decide to use U to hold it together or you sew with your needle and thread. Sewing is more economical. So with your needle and thread, you sew it, just tack it this way. You'll be careful so that the needle doesn't point your fingers because they are very sharp. It's hard. Then use your scissors to cut the excesses. This is a rose design. For any type of hat you want to make. Okay. You can see this is another shape. Remember the way I cut the rose shape? This one is another triangular shape, but I can use it to get another type of design. Let's say there's one we call fish. Fish. Thank you. The 
you, you bend it this way, then bend it on the equal side. Watch the way I'm going to get the fish shape. Look at it. You start from the middle. Do it this way. This is the fish design for hearts. Are we there? So you, you use your needle and thread again to sew. Cut off the SS, SS this and uh, you get this, you come up with this. Can I go? So, Amen. We, yes, I want to round up. We have so many designs, as much as possible. This one is a, uh, what do we call it? Bow tie. Hmm? Bow tie, bow tie. Thank you. This is bow tie. I intentionally bend it this way. I intentionally bend it this way. Now, let's quickly fix this. Then I'll show you just how to fix this and that will round up. So, remember I told you. It's not doing Some of the things we need, uh, they are somewhere there. So, but we've succeeded in fixing the crown and the, mo uh, and the brim. We get a band, depending on the design you want, just band it around to cover these rough edges. Then there's this one we call inner band also, it's somewhere there. You use it, uh, depending on the color you want, black preferably, use it to cover this place. If you have a, a label, I mean your name, whatever, phone number, your contact, you stick it to it. And uh, there you go. After that, you now fix your design. It's assumed. Mm -hmm. You know, this heart can come up like this, assuming. You use your, uh, ooh, you rub this, you apply oo on this, and oo is a liquid gum. Yes, yes. Apply on it and then stick it to the heart. So, do I do it so I look neat? Okay, um, let me ask more questions. Okay, you said you're going to use black here. Are you going to use the oo gum or you will sew it with needle and thread? If you have, uh, if you have machine, you sew it. But it's not very easy to sew because we have joined it together. So you have to be very careful to make sure you don't squeeze the heart. But if it's not convenient for you, you use thread. That's the way you stick.